Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by attending the Caribbean Clash of Champions motor racing at the South Dakota Circuit on Sunday. On Tuesday, President Ali visited the island of Wakenham Region 3 to commission the $84 million Arthurville Primary School. The school was built to replace the old building, which was in a deplorable state. Construction in the new school began in January 2023 and now accommodates 62 students in a comfortable environment. President Ali emphasized that government will continue to invest in Guyanese to improve their lives in all areas and produce significant results. He also highlighted the critical role of education in building the Guyana of the future. But it is very important activities where we speak to the children, where we give the children the hope of a brighter tomorrow. It is, it is at these activities that as your president, humbled by the opportunity to serve you, I can look into the eyes of these children and assure them that we are going to build the best possible future for you. We're going to build a future that is prosperous, one in which you'll be better off than you are today, one in which you'll fully accomplish your aspirations, one in which your country would not be found wanting in delivering to you the best possible country we can deliver to you. In addition, residents of Arthurville will benefit from additional developments as $2.5 million will be transferred to the Neighboring Democratic Council, NDC, to improve Arthurville community ground for the students. This sum is being given through the Men on Mission MOM initiative. We're going to take this building down before the end of the year. And through the Men on Mission, we're going to create a covered shed with an open space there for a more community type of activity where you can have great interaction with, with the community. Those are additional things that we will do. Later that evening, the president opened the One Guyana Diwali Jalsa in Burpees Region 6. to extend to all of Guyana, happy Diwali. Today, this event, this event that seeks to bring families together, this event that goes beyond the lighting of the earth, it goes to the foundation, the value system, the principles through which we celebrate Diwali. And one of the things we want to do as a country and as a people is to celebrate together, to acknowledge together. And the only way we can do this is if we bring community life to everything we do. On Wednesday, President Ali delivered the future address of the commissioning of the Milko's U.S. $8 million mixing plant located at Agricola, East Bank de Mararo. The government of Guyana is currently working to position Guyana as a prime destination for feed production to the CARICOM market as it seeks to lessen the food import bill. In keeping with that, the president has urged a subsidiary of the National Milling Company of Guyana, the Milko, Seaboard Overseas and Trading Group, to explore re-engineering its operations to tap into the U.S. $30 million feed production industry that is currently being developed by the government through the Ministry of Agriculture. If Guyana now becomes the prime destination for our own production of corn and soya, supplemented with corn and soya from northern Brazil, then we can have a major facility here, feed facility here, that then drives up into the Carico market. On Tuesday, during a live broadcast, the head of state revealed several fiscal adjustments to the public sector. 
Namely, government will be expending a total of $850 million to purchase fertilizers for farmers nationwide to ensure increased food production. It is expected that this support will benefit 287,000 acres of cultivation and 35,000 farmers. And this will ensure increased food production and containment of costs. Approximately 19,000 persons living with disabilities are expected to benefit from this $35,000 one-off bonus. Differently abled persons or persons living with disability on the public assistance register, they will also receive a $35,000 one-off bonus payment in December of this year. In keeping with government's commitment to cushion the effects of the high cost of living, 72,000 pensioners across Guyana in December will receive a $25,000 one-off bonus. So our pensioners would also benefit from a $25,000 one-off payment to the cost of $1.8 billion in December. The president also announced salary adjustments for graduate teachers, an increase in the remote areas incentive for hinterland teachers, and duty-free concessions for teachers who hold a substantive appointment as a senior master or mistress and within three years of retirement. Additionally, any pre-existing allowances paid in relation to the postgraduate diploma in education will remain in place. The adjustment to the salary and allowances of these workers depending on the salary scale, represents between a 10% and 17% increase on the current minimum salary paid to these workers. On Thursday afternoon, President Irfan Ali and the President of Brazil, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, held bilateral discussions on a range of issues. During the virtual engagement, the two leaders discussed defense and military cooperation, respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, respect for the rule of international law, the Venezuela border controversy, and infrastructure and economic cooperation, among other issues. President Ali joined hundreds of spectators for a luminous motorcade on the west coast of Demerara on Friday evening. The Guyana Hindu Dharmic Sabha's motorcade at the Ocean View Mandir in Eiflat was a colorful spectacle with storytelling, a riveting cultural display, and an assortment of sweetmeats. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching, and do join us again next time.